Crazy Will here today. Today we're going to be talking about making a YouTube banner ad for your page using Infinity Photo. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you how. here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're gonna be talking about customizing the banner on your YouTube page. So last week, I went into branding your YouTube channel using Infinity Photo, and so we're still gonna be using Infinity Photo, and I got such a good response in one week, uh, well actually, right now, it's only been a couple of days. You guys had really good responses to me, you guys really wanted to know more, so I figured, let's keep it going, let's keep that ball rolling. We're gonna do the YouTube banner ad today. I'm gonna show you how I'm putting together my mother's YouTube channel, which is Storytime with Gigi, which I still can't believe she has a YouTube channel. And make sure you subscribe, guys. That would really help me out. I mean, if you appreciate me, help out my mom. Last week, I went into branding, and I talked about a little bit uh, what it was about. And if you want to see that video, because this is kind of in the middle of it, you can see that right here. But if you're coming back, you know that my mother started a YouTube channel. So I thought I would do a video on my process using Infinity Photo. A lot of people wanted the thumbnail. Now, I have done a thumbnail before. When I was introducing Infinity Photo, I did a thumbnail. So you guys can see that there. It's actually one of my thumbnails. I actually go through the process of what I do, but I'll go into it more detail. I'm thinking maybe next week I will do the thumbnail next because she needs some thumbnails. I would have had a lot of this stuff uploaded and ready for her, but unfortunately, my mother hasn't gotten back to me with her username and password, so I can get onto her YouTube channel and start uploading this stuff. So maybe by now she's actually updated her YouTube page, but... We'll see. Waiting, mother. Patiently. We're gonna actually go into making the banner ad on your homepage. I mean, it's not really a banner ad, but it's it's a banner that goes across the top. I found a template. I didn't make it. I forgot the gentleman who made it, but I'm gonna leave his link down below, and you can download this template. It's the right dimensions, right size, everything you need, and it also shows you what it's gonna look like on a smartphone, what it's gonna look like on a tablet, what it's gonna look like on a desktop, what it's gonna look like on a TV, because you wanna have that set up so that way it's universal and your brand gets to be seen. There's nothing worse when you go to somebody YouTube page and everything's like kind of cut off and it's like oh I can only see this much so without further ado guys let's get over to the computer boot up infinity photo and show you how to make your page header we're gonna call it page header hey, me and names never works oh, but we're gonna open up this template and I forget who makes it but I'm gonna leave his link down below or her link down below and we're gonna open this up because this is the correct resolution that we need for YouTube. Now, this is your logo and text safe area, which is measured by this. And then this is gonna be the tablet size, this is gonna be the desktop size, and then this is gonna be the TV size. So we need to design a header that's gonna fit in here, but also looks nice in all these platforms. And that's what we're gonna design next. So let's go ahead and grab this logo because that's the one my mother likes. And we're gonna hit, we're just gonna left click, copy, and we're gonna go over here and we're gonna edit, paste. Oh, and we'll stick it right here. And we wanna make it pretty decent size, so let's click on this and drag it out. We're gonna have to adjust things because we are changing the size of this. But before we do that, let's go ahead and center this. And the quickest and easiest way to center this is going to be, we're gonna grab the select tool over here, the rectangle, and we're gonna grab the whole mishmash, and we're gonna hit the arrow tool. We're gonna select it, and then we're gonna click on the logo itself, and then we'll click on alignment right up here, and we'll click in the middle. So now that's perfectly centered, and that's what we want to see. And now let's just do some quick adjustments. We're going to click on the logo itself. I made it a group. You just hit Control G if you want to group it. We're going to change out, and I'm sure there's another way you could do this without going through all this work, but so let's, let's turn that up a bit. Make that good. The width, let's go into that effect. Turn that up a bit. All right, close. Story time, same effect and turn it up and we could have flattened this out and actually did it that way but I, I want to be able to make changes if I don't like the way it looks just to let you know the other effect that I have on this the story time and we're gonna go in here and adjust that as well I put a 3d uh, bevel effect in here so put that in a little bit more too and I did that on the G's too so we're gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna make it very kitty looking because this is she does children's books so we want to make it kitty make this a little easier so we can start working on this a little better we're gonna go to view 
it show rules and it brings out a ruler here for you so what I want to do so we have that ruler we'll go back to the select tool I'm going to click and drag out the rules right where and this doesn't affect your graphic but right where the endpoints are because we're going to start working on this so that way we know where the tablet safe zones are and where everything is I want to put out these rules real quick because I'm going to start working on building out the background and I don't really have to worry about this but you could put these here too to kind of show you where that ends so that we can get an idea but that's basically what I need and I'm gonna turn off this right here so that way the backgrounds clear and I'm thinking let's go back to some of those images again and I really liked and I'm sure my mother will make me change it but for now let's do the clouds where did I see that I really like the cloud oh, and that's where I got the idea for the story time there was clouds ah something like that all right so let's we'll put this off to the side I, I like the idea of clouds because you know it's bedtime so let's start with we're gonna make a new layer go right here and we'll do a new layer new pixel layer and oh, we don't want to go over the book so let's bring that back over here and we'll go to the color again actually that's what we want all right there we go all right, so now we have kind of bluish background, and I may change that later on, but right now I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of what I would do, pretty much my work process. So let's go over to a shape, and let's look for something that kind of looks like a cloud. And they have a cloud tool, so let's change the color to white right now, close, and we'll draw a cloud. And this looks, ugh. Horrible. I don't care for that at all. Let's see if we can find something that's a little less obnoxious. Uh, I guess that's what we're going to have to deal with for now. We can change it. Let's just draw that cloud in. I wonder if there's some tools. Okay, this it makes it a little fluffier. And I think we could change this. Let's see. Okay. So we don't have to make it so prevalent. I wanted like less lumps. I wonder if they're all oh, bubbles. Ah, there we go. So we can adjust our clouds as needed, which is great. And I want to add a little bit more. Let's let's go with that. So let's put a cloud here, and let's play with this cloud. Let's we want to kind of make it part of it, but we want to make it fade. So let's go to effects again. Let's change the gradient. Go up and down. Actually, let's put the we want the white to go down. And let's pick a color. Well, we could take the needle and then we could pick this. So that way we could actually get that color and then put that in there. And then what we'll do is reverse it. Let's see what that looks like once we deselect it. So it kind of gives, oh, we don't want that part of the group. Let's get that out right up here. And maybe we'll do something like, like that. We'll put this underneath. Do that and then hit option and then click and drag and then we get another one. A really simple type of design there. We're going to go to view where it says show guides. We're going to get rid of it and just see what it looks like. So we can kind of get an idea of how this is going to look. And that's not horrible. I'm wondering if we should do a rainbow going across here. <laughs> is that stealing it from reading rainbow maybe? I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's, let's mess around a little bit and see what we can come up with. Let's maybe... to do something different yeah yeah I like that let's try and make this one go above all the other clouds let's see if that gives a little bit of a push yeah I kind of I'm gonna play with that you know what we could do too let's see if what happens when we put another one right here and then another one right over here and we'll put that one actually going over this one and see what that looks like yeah, I'm just trying to make it 
I want the logo to stand out and I don't want to be it too busy, but I want to make it kind of kiddish, kind of exciting, kind of, you know, not too crazy, but I think that's going to work. So there's a real basic kind of header. It's just to try and get people's attention. And if it was full screen on the TV, I'm going to bring back the guides and show you. Show guides. And you'll see on a tablet, you'd see this much. On a full-time desktop, it could be the full thing. And same thing for the TV, it'd be the full size. So that's what they would see if they were on your channel. And then obviously your videos and stuff would be down here. What we'll do now, you know, uh, this might not be the final product for me, I don't know. But what we'll do now, maybe we'll make some books look like birds flying around. First, we're going to save it as an Infinity Photo file. YouTube header. All right, we'll save it right there. Boom. And then we'll export it out so we could actually upload it to YouTube. We're going to go to export and we're going to make it a JPEG. And I don't like to make the quality 100% because it makes it really big. I go to 90% and that brings it down because look how big it is when you go to 100%. It doesn't make much sense to do that. If you do it at 90%, it's like half the size. And I, I just, I do that. I don't know why. It just, a habit that I gotten into doing web design you're always trying to make the file smaller but let's go and you can export it out as any of these things I like JPEG we'll export it out put it on my desktop for now save so that's basically it guys that's your header that's set up all you have to do now is go to YouTube and upload that into the header of your YouTube page and when you go there people will see it and they'll identify your brand or identify you and that's what we're really doing this all for is to try to get a visual image and you in their head so that way it's looping over and over again like I made an example last time you know McDonald's everybody's been growing up with that at least in America I think there's quite a few countries that have McDonald's that is really where I think you will get more of a response I mean if you think about your favorite youtubers there's usually something a logo that you know or a certain personality and they have a goofy face or you know glasses you will relate with that and you will see it and then you'll know to click that's that's the guy I like to watch or that's the girl I like to watch. You click on it and that's that's the way it works. So if you have any questions, please put them down below and I will be more than happy to answer them. I read every one of your comments and I respond to everybody. Except for the know-it-alls and the assholes. Please don't leave a comment down below because nobody gives a shit. You're insignificant. Nobody loves you. We get it. You don't have to put it on the internet. That's it for me, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if this helped you. And remember, you can do anything, and I mean anything, if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. Uh, branding, what it means to do branding, and my battery's dying, so I'm gonna try and remember where I left off and finish this conversation when I should have just changed out the damn battery to begin with. I know what you're thinking. Crazy Will's tech show's over. What do I do now? Real simple, guys. You hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button, and then you check out my other videos. It's not over. I made a lot. It's been a good year.